Hi, it's me, Burbingish, and you may be wondering, why does it say create new character instead of continue? And that's because since this is the fake freshie progression, I can't have people looking at my username and be like, Burbingish, Deep Woken's literally his job. And yeah, that's the reason I made this new alt account, just so I can be a little bit uh, inconspicuous. Alright, I'm hoping for our Turan here. On. Why am, why am I looking, what the... Yo, new Deep Woken dropped. Is it bugged or something? Or is it like always like this for first time joiners? Oh, wow. <laughs> I just flipped around. Okay. Five minutes later. All right, since I'm a bit of a gambling addict, I've gotten myself one race reroll. Hopefully I can get myself a uh, Turan or like something cool. Not a big fan of Khan, to be honest. Or more. All right, yeah, all right. Then whatever, it's, it's better. Can I get the blue version though? That's no, yeah, this one looks nice. All right, since I don't have Troll of One spawn, I'm gonna have to sail all the way over there myself. So see you guys in a bit, and we're here. Well, anyways, the whole gist of this build is I'm gonna try and bait people into thinking I'm a freshie and then attack me, and then I'm gonna beat them up. It's, it's as simple as that. Oh wow, they got young shoulders chilling over there. Since I'm going just Karita, but I can't get the uh, just Karita armor, I am gonna be doing like no M1 damage. Which means I'm gonna have to rely on Flame Charm to actually, you know, do the killing. If I could transmog rags onto like a, onto like a Just Karita, Just the Car Armor, that would be actually so useful. It would solve both my M1 damage and my tankiness being like super low. Ooh, Blood Iron, Swift Rebound. Since I'm gonna need a lot of HP, I'm just gonna go all in on Vitality. I'm basically gonna be taking 30% more damage than the average player. What? What? Well, that was great. Dude. I keep lag spiking for no reason. I'm I'm actually gonna lose Trial of One. Why did I bring a stiletto, bro? I'm kinda dumb. Alright, guys. If I die, I blame my internet. Okay, I'm gonna have to perfect this one. Yeah, that, that's not happening. Well... Down to the depths. Hopefully Roblox servers doesn't screw me over this time. Wow, it is. It, it really just took all my stuff. Alright. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, let me put on the fit. Oh. <laughs> now I'm really looking like a freshie. Wait. Uh. Does this look more? I'm gonna put this one on. Alright, after this, I should unlock the Trial of One spawn. So if I get like skill issued or ping spike to oblivion i won't have to sail all the way back here Ooh, all these are really good uh i will take i will take scuba drowner though right now since i'm an actual freshie i can just keep the basic sword on but it's gonna take a while for me to get just karita since it's 40 light and i don't have it pre-unlocked on this account i'm gonna focus on flame charm first because that that thing just has this attunement has a bunch of talents there we go 50 fortitude a hey, to the finish i'll take that since i'm not a void walker most of the pvp in this uh progression is probably just from random other void walkers that just like grasp onto me and uh you know some of you guys have been complaining burpingish please do oh what burpingish please do one non void walker progression please so uh yeah i don't have a void walker unlock so here it is <laughs> oh breathing exercise uh evasive expert there we go. Hey, I got myself a Trial of One Award. Oh, wait, hold up. Blur out that name. I can't have you guys finding out about my uh, secret ult account. All right, I'm pretty sure I should be safe from Voidwalkers for now, since my account was, like, brand new and they have, like, a bunch of freshy protector thingies. Five minutes later. All right, Destroy Man, please guide me. I'm such a new player. And also, please don't crash my computer this time. Since I got a bunch of stuff from that random bag before Trial of One, I'm gonna just get all my training equipment, a stiletto, all that stuff. And in true freshy fashion, I'm gonna go get some XP at uh, Aresia. I hope you guys like Destroy Man, because he's gonna be here for at least half the episode. And there it is, the sacred freshy lands. Alright. There we go. Can I just like... Yeah, I can just set him on fire. So the idea with just Karita Flame is that I'm just gonna have so many explosions and like particles that they're not even gonna be able to see my uh see my animations. Personally, I think it's a genius idea, but we'll have to see. Give myself some strength real quick. Oh, come on, one point. Oh, an event. 
Wait, what? Yo, this guy has a provenance for in, like, mace. I thought they completely removed, like, enchants from NPCs. I forget. Like, I didn't know they just made them rare. But let me just... There we go. Oh! Wow. All right. Uh... Wait, that, this is a lot of stuff I need to get. I'll take... I'll freeze that since that's 5 HP. Take Ghost. Warriors Respite. I'm like 50% sure that just Karita needs Train Fist for me to actually get it. So I'm going to look for a little hostage around here. Oh yeah, wait. I don't have any of the Echo Talents. I might as well do this first. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, gotta go kill a Sharko now. If I remember correctly, that should be the Engage Talent, right? What? Yo! What the Sharko doing? I'm just fighting the legendary T-Pose Sharko. Every like half a second, he just T-Poses. Yeah, he's just... I don't know what's going on. Like half the <laughs> my animations aren't even showing up. Why is Deep Woken so buggy? Okay. <laughs> oh, they updated the. No way. I think it's always been this model. Never mind. I think I might want to swap servers. I don't know. Half my M1s don't even have animations. Here, like, look at this. You see the flash, but you don't actually see the animation. It's just like. This makes me look like I'm using, like, a uh, no end lag exploit. What? What is going on? <laughs> I have no idea what the hour requirement is for Voidwalkers to attack me, but hopefully by the time I reach that threshold, I would have, like, at least level 15. Well, I mean, not level 15, level 10. But on the kite shield, now nah, I truly look like a new player. Well, anyways, time for my next Echo talent. Oh, yeah, and also I should probably accept the glider. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey, another freshie. Hey. Okay, just ignore me like that. All right. I'm actually hoping Voidwalkers grasp onto me since uh, this has been one lonely progression. All right, destroy man. Avert your eyes. I think it's a little too late to say that since I already like murdered three other Sharkos, but it's the thought that counts. There we go. Get myself the purple flame. Uh oh. Oh, what's this one has provenance? Did they buff the race or something? <laughs> Why is there so many, like, specifically provenance foreigns as well? Why is there so many NPCs with it now? There we go. You know, if you would drop that enchant, that would be really useful. If they made, like, the enchanted mob super rare, but, like, actually dropped the weapon they're holding, that would be a pretty cool mechanic, I'm just saying. It's, it's not like enchants have any value anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. What? Everybody just says enchants now. It's either that, or I just haven't played the game in such a long time, and it's just been like this. Mm, yes. Me, a campfire, and a burning corpse. You know, burning servants really is OP for if you're like a new player, because I just like, I click one button, everybody dies. <laughs> I'll take... Uh, I'll take old habits. Concussion... Wait... Did they, did they merge concussion and bulldozer already? Hopefully they did. Take a reinforce. I know they did merge like the reinforced talents, which kind of sucks since I lose out on 5 HP. But at least I get one extra rare slot. Oh no, I sure do hope no void walker shows up and pick on uh, this little, little freshie. That would be just such a shame. Which one makes me look more new, the iron mask or the orange headband? I'm gonna put on the headband since like the iron mask look a little menacing. Epic. Now I'm back in layer 2. I fight too much like a layer 1 player, I never really use like the uppercut feature and all that stuff. So I just did a little bit of research, apparently, once I'm level 10, I'm gonna be eligible to be void walked on. Oh! No! <laughs> no, I didn't actually get to save a real freshie! R.I.P. Deadliest Trout. He died so young. Is that him? Is he back? That's him. Unnamed? Wait, I thought unnamed disbanded like years ago. For those of you who joined after layer 2, Unnamed was a really big guild, right? That just let anybody in. So they would have like, a few really good players, and then they have 90% just completely new players. And since like the actually good players just carried all of the bad players, they never actually learned how to play the game. So they were just notorious for being max level, but with the skill of a freshie. Uh, you know what, since I'm getting a little lonely in this progression, I'm gonna go over to Songseeker. I'm sure there's always people there. Oh wow, we got leaderboard players here. I'm gonna just hope the leaderboard players have like the self-respect not to grip freshies. 
Just go grip like max levels. <laughs> huh? Why? Why are they all here? <laughs> that flame repulsion just like dramatically turned them towards me. Like, was that like an intimidation tactic? It's like, hey guys, next freshie that walks over here, we're just gonna like immediately turn to stare at him. Okay, time for a uh, song seeker one v two. Good thing burning servants is just so OP. Ah. I am fighting with a stiletto, so hopefully burning servants can carry me the entire way. There we go. Oh. I always hate fighting flame song seekers. Wait, what? Oh! Phoenix flames, I forgot. Yeah, uh, pro tip. Never try and burn flame song seekers. They just get back up. There we go. Alright, after this last investment point, I'm gonna have like a little target put on my head for like all the void walkers. Boom. And now we wait. Grant support, nice. Flame Star Kindred with a curious glaive. Grab myself Chime of Conflicts for no reason. Oh wait, I just realized this is like an alt account. I don't have my main account's elo. Alright guys, it's time to do a bit of deep woken smurfing. 800 elo, alright. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a match. Because who plays like Chime of Conflicts at level 10? Well, that didn't work out too well. I couldn't get a match, but you know, once I max level, we can get some deep woken smurfing gameplay. What the? Oh no. I gotta really concentrate here. You don't know how many times I died from this stupid duo. You know, I, I was getting a little too lucky. Past three progressions, I have not died to a flame song seeker. I knew the game had to get me some way. Hey guys, I assure you, last level, absolutely nothing happened. Hey, wait a minute, this isn't a California server, why am I getting like 120 ping? All I want for Christmas is for Deep Woken to have stable servers, because this is... This is not it. Okay, I found myself an actual California server. Why is all the... What? Why are all the mud skippers out here? Let me see if I can hit a collateral on them. Ooh. Hey, that was not... Uh, oh, what the... What the there's like an entire, like, 10 more in there, what the... Who had the free time just to just lead all of these mud skippers out here? All right, I'm gonna leave Song Seeker for now since there's not really much to do there. Maybe go to Hive or like uh, Miner's Landing. Uh, we call this the Flame Charm XP Farm. Flame Palm. Oh yeah, now that I have produced Spark, I can see what my HP is. 376. That's actually not all that bad for uh, level 11. Sometimes, like, the new elemental mobs get kind of annoying since I just cannot see their animations for the large amount of particles they have. Alright, let me just fight this guy normally then. There we go. Gotta get my light weapon up so I can go get Jessica later. Okay, so I can either get Eruption or Agitating Spark. Alright, hopefully not picking a Lava Serpent will give me positive karma to the point where I don't encounter other Lava Serpent users. Immolation, yeah, I'll take that. Lava Serpent isn't too tough to deal with if you know what you're doing, it's just that eh, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's basically like Providence Forns, but for mantras. I, I just turned off some of the visibility for my armor, so I would seem a little more like a freshie, which means I can actually put on good armor now. I'm missing like the whole point of the build right now. I should probably go up to people and be like, hey, how do I play the game? This is my first time playing Deep Book and where do I go? And just seeing like the interactions that come out from that. Because what's the point of like a freshie disguise if there's no one around to see it? So I'm gonna go approach some people and see if I can test their morals a little bit. If you guys think this is boring, I'm just saying. Some of you guys asked for this. Whoa, Gale Fresher. Please don't tell me there's an hour requirement on getting jumped by void walkers. It is so lonely. This is like isolation torture. Ooh, pyromania or explosive finish. I'm gonna take explosive finish. Hopefully I can get pyromania later. Hello? Any deep wokians around? Oh, that's a mama fresher. I'm not dealing with that one. Fighting a mama fresher with a stiletto. And eh, maybe when I'm level 20. Guys, I think I'm gaining passive insanity in real life right now. I have not seen a single soul. Man, the last time I was this lonely, it was when I went to the Ophelous meetup. Hmm, yes, me, a day one fresher just beat a legion captain. The power scaling is crazy. Well, I mean, to be fair, in lore, I am like the trial of one's chosen one, but I can be also said for like 90% of the other players in the server. Well, anyways, it's time for the last echo talent. 
I have to go kill a King Fresher. I know I just said that I wasn't gonna go kill a King Fresher with a stiletto, but uh, <laughs> looks like I kinda have to. You know, in open world RPGs, like the best enjoyment that you're gonna get out of the game is when you still think the world is just infinite. Like when I first started Deep Woken, when I found Songseeker Isles, I thought I was just in like a whole different part, <laughs> like an entire different continent. And I was like, what, they still have like 20 more islands? After I explored all the islands, the game kind of lost a bit of immersion for me. Ooh, 17 HP boots, I'll take it. I think I'm gonna have to start hiding my boots now since this is too, too high level for a freshie to have. Well, I mean, I'm in like a place that's too high level for freshies anyway, so I should probably like... I don't think my disguise is working much. <laughs> Turn that off. Oh, I, I'm really looking like a freshie now. Oh, Phoenix Flames! Okay, now... I just need to wait for a player to get too cocky, a flame player to get too cocky, and then try and like, like somebody that just thinks he's him, puts me on fire, and is like, easily done, five bars, and I get back up and I beat the hell out of him. Well, I mean, preferably I wouldn't die in the first place, but like, you know, if I do die, it would be pretty useful. Can something happen already? I know people complain about void walkers and such, but I have not seen one in like five years. I have a quick question for you guys. Do you guys think I should sacrifice a bit of the editing and like uh, quality assurance of the video for a bit more upload speed? Because right now I'm kind of working on like 75% quality assurance and 25% upload speed. But my upload schedule isn't exactly uh, isn't exactly the best. So I think I might want to move to more of a 50-50 compromise. But that depends on what you guys want. Do you guys want more like videos that take longer to come out? but like has a bit more uh, effort put into them or just like put together whatever whatever shenanigans I got and I was like all right got it don't worry it'll still have a certain level of quality to them I'm not gonna upload a 10 minute of black screen but yeah that's what I've been thinking since other youtubers like uh Supo or Inu they definitely have way faster uploads than me so tell me what you guys think yo they should make it so that like the requirements to be able to be grasped is a trial of one completion because, you know, the trial of one is already designed to be a test of skill. So why don't we just use it to determine whether someone's an experienced player or not? So, like, the trade-off is you get faster progression, but Void Walkers can grasp onto you. Seems like a fair trade to me, in my opinion. And also, it will make this progression much less lonelier because I already, uh, I already did trial of one. Alright, we have 75 Flame Charm. Not sure if I should go fight Duke with a Stiletto right now, though. Blue Headband. Ooh, I got the blue setup looking. Yo, I think I should get the talents that make it so that when I'm in like rags, it gives me more movement speed and like a 10% damage resistance. Since I'm not changing out of this outfit for the foreseeable future. Really gotta min-max my entire freshie build. I think Destroy Man is just a product of my isolation. Well, better than no one. Hey Destroy Man, what do you have to say? I should buy a boat. True Destroy Man, I should buy a boat. Never mind, I'm broke. Actually, after I sell all this stuff, I can actually buy a boat. Uh, you know what? Since this progression has been uh, a little bit boring, just to say the least, I'm gonna let Destroy Man decide what I should do. Alright, Destroy Man, what's your uh, next piece of wisdom? I'm the Mario of this duel, you're the Luigi. Oh, clearly he wants some Mario music right now. Alright, Destroy Man, I'm gonna buy a boat. Boom, there we go. Before I leave Summer Isles, I do want to borrow their little mantra modifying stand for a second. So if you didn't know, if you just keep refreshing like a ritual cast mantra on this modifying table, you can eventually get yourself one that's just one letter and it becomes really easy to cast. Alright, come on. This one is it. Oh. This one's gonna be it. Nope. Six time to charm. Okay, that's two letters. But I need all three. Oh yeah, and also I might as well just put an eternal log stone on there for now. Five signs. All right, never mind. I don't think I want to do that. If you guys ever taken like probability in math, you know you guys know that uh, <laughs> getting the same letter five times is much tougher than three times. X X V. All right, that's actually a pretty easy pattern to do. I'll just keep it for now. I don't want to spend the entire episode just sitting there. Hey, what the? Get out of here. Oh yo, lionfish cheese method. Oh, hello. Finally, another person after five long years. Hi. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where should I go to level? Let's ask this guy for advice. Okay. Let's see what advice this guy has. I think he's taking me to Upper Song Seeker. And yeah, that's not bad advice. Personally, I might have taken the Freshie to Hive, but like, uh, they might have died in the process, so <laughs> this guy probably has better advice than me. 
Okay, I think I think I need to uh play a little more play a little more like a dummy. Cause that's that seemed a little suspicious. Thank you. Do you have any umbral? Sorry, nah. Man, I wish I could give this guy some umbro. He's a he's a nice player. Alright, hold on. Based Lightborn. I'm gonna go get this guy his well-deserved umbro. Ah, oh, that sucks. He left the server. Last time I was on this account, I was farming Prima Dawn, so you know, I have a little bit of umbro to spare. Elliot Tetra, if you ever need Umbro Obsidian, I got you. I should do like <laughs> deep woken social experiments with this account. I've always wanted to keep like a slot with just rags on just for <laughs> social experiments. I just never gotten around to doing it, so I guess I'm doing it now. Even if we don't get any Voidwalkers this episode, hopefully by the time I'm the uh, I'm on the second episode, I'll have enough playtime to be eligible. Oh! Finally! It's a Voidwalker! A little more stacked than I anticipated, but like, it's fine though. Okay. Okay, let's go. Finally, PvP. Oh. Hold on. Let me, let me process this real quick. I don't really like how high level this guy is with like, Sacred Hammer enchants everything. But... I guess I'll just have to play my best. Flame grab. Ooh. Wait, that didn't hit? Uh, dude, that sucks. XXV. What just happened? Flame palm. Hit him with the after hit. What? That didn't cancel? Oh, that's so that's so stupid. I should have had a sword for this. Stiletto really does zero damage. X X B. Okay. Flame leap. Bro, what you mean, bro? X X B. Crap. Might be it for me. This guy's build's kind of min max, so it's kind of tough. Faint. Okay. Ooh. XXV. Ooh. I can't even see my own animations. Oh, I had him on blood as well. Dude, it, his clothes was bloody as well, bro. I was so close. Damn. Honestly, I did better than I expected with a stiletto against, uh, you know, a max level. Emperor Flame. Actually, Freeze Mirage Clone. Take Emperor Flame. Alright, once I get Jessica Rita, I know for a fact I can beat that guy. Flame Charm. Daring today, aren't we? Oh, he actually reads my belt. That's crazy. Alright, bro. This is going to be the beginning of my freshie training arc. Also, buff stiletto. <laughs> Give it like 12 damage at least, bro. <laughs> Good news is, is that I'm definitely eligible to be a Voidwalker bounty now. Oh, yo. Enchant, okay. 15 HP helmet with ferocity. That's actually really good. I'm just gonna put this on for now. Ah, uh, but like, does this look like I'm a freshie though? Hmm. Eh, it's kinda, it's kinda hard to see. I'm gonna just keep it on. Hopefully nobody pays too close attention to my head. Next time a Voidwalker tries to attack me, I'm gonna try a bit of diplomacy first before I actually go full on fighting mode. See if I can convince him into sparing a or a little freshie, you know. Cause right now I'm on like one life and if I get jumped by a min-max slice final toll herbalist hat combo, I don't think I'm gonna win with a stiletto, I'm just saying. Whoa! Blazing Kanor Fang. Okay. I'm getting so lucky with enchants, what the? I mean, sure, I could use it, since I am light weapon, but I'm still going- What the- ugh. But I'm still going just Karita, just so, you know, I look like a freshie. If I have an enchant, that's not very, uh, that's not very freshie-like, is it? Where did that song seeker even come from? There we go. We're here to protect you, cut it- What? You aggro onto me immediately as soon as I do anything. You are not here to protect me. 
You're not fooling me with your too innate stat charisma, bruh. Tip. Birds aren't real. Oh no. You know what, Destroy Man, for that, you're gonna go away for the rest of this episode. Goodbye, Destroy Man. I don't know, maybe he'll come back next episode. It <laughs> depends on how much you guys like him. We're gonna have like a little poll in the comments. Keep Destroy Man, yes or no. Anyways, the reason I'm at Etris right now is because I have one investment point left, and I want to see if I can get myself the armorless talents. Alright, so I need to get Lightweight, which is a miscellaneous talent. And then I need the natural armor set. Oh wow, I don't even have enough notes for that, hold on. So I want the natural armor one. Ah, natural armor, there we go. Let's see if I got anything. Oh, padded armor. Oh, come on, spine cutter? You're making me pick between spine cutter and padded armor. I'll freeze that and then I'll take spine cutter. Mirage clone can come later, since it's really not that necessary. Oh, all right, I'll just take Mirage clone. Ash slam, all right. I really have like absolutely no slots right now. This is actually a really tough choice. I'm gonna have to get rid of uh, flame grab. This does bring up the question, what oath am I gonna get? Since I have to get an oath that doesn't show on my body, that doesn't have any like visual effects. If I wanna play it safe, I'll probably just get oathless. Well anyways, we have 40 light weapon now. Is there anything you can teach me? Just Karita. There we go. And he gave us a 5 HP ring. That is actually not that bad. Thank you, Polis. But the main thing is, I no longer have to use this stupid stiletto. Let's go. 17.1 damage and 20% pen. That is a significant upgrade. Alright, I'm gonna head over to Songseeker Isles to upgrade my flame mantras. And hopefully, I can bait myself a Voidwalker and I can try out my Just Karita. By the way, do you, any of you guys know like what that one uh what that one modifier is on burning servants that make it super fast? I'm pretty sure it's like a drift shard or something, but like I'm gonna put a bunch of those on there and hopefully immolation can just fix my ether issues. Immolation's like the one that makes it so that it takes 70% less ether, by the way, when you're on fire. No! Stop ganging up on me with like 20 song seekers. Alright, come on, get out of here. No! Stop! Go away! Okay, get out of here. Hey, what the? Okay, I did not notice the Minimic Particles. Random Red Charcoal event. I wonder if I'll get a first light out of this. No first light, sadly. Let me upgrade my Flame Palm, my Ash Lamb, and Flame Wisp. Now that we got our mantras leveled up, all that's missing is the random void walker. Oh! Hey, would you look at that? It's a random void walker! Okay, hold on. I just logged on after I uh, was doing a little something, so I'm gonna have to get myself a little more attuned here. Perry? Perry? Ooh, this guy's, this guy's decent. What the? They got three void walkers! This is not a great situation to be in. Hit him with that. Yeah, no, there's three Void Walkers right now. Okay. Alright. Just grip him right here. What power? One. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest, that was a really messy fight, bruh. Fumbled way too many parries than I should have. Alright, hopefully now that I warmed up, the next Voidwalker fight will be a lot more clean. Five minutes later. Oh no. Grand Sudaruska going after this power one like Aresia guy. He doesn't even have a guild yet. Holy crap, what is this? Why is there so many mudskippers? Oh. What is going on? Hey! Okay, this guy wants me dead. Alright, let's go. You wanna fight? Let's fight. Fire pump. Whoops! <laughs> now what? What do, I, what do I do? Do I just like follow him down there? <laughs> there he is, he's back. You have absolutely no health whatsoever, bro. I'm sorry, but you... <laughs> Like, you took way too much damage from just falling. You're gonna kinda die, bro. I'm sorry. Come here. The lag. Oh, yeah, the season's changing. <laughs> oh. 
Guys, I just flawless the Grand Sudaruska. Five bars, easily done. We disregard the fact that he fell like from five miles up. Alright, hopefully the next episode of this series should come out pretty quickly since I'm focusing on this quicker style. But yeah, this is gonna be the end of this first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And you know, if you want to be notified for the next one. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.